What's going on guys? I'm Danny. This is Scented Waters. Before we go any further, how about you like and subscribe? I'll wait. Now we can keep them going. And today I got a top five on my selection of fragrances that I use for date fragrances with my lady. Let's go. Let's start off with the honorable mention. Maison Margella from the replica line by the fireplace. This bad boy right here, I was put on by another reviewer, big time reviewer, Big Beard B. Go check him out. Awesome work. Um, this one is more like a smoky, sweet, vanilla, warm, marshmallow, like it says, by the fireplace type of feel and scent. What this line does, they actually do replicate, try to replicate a scene. But this one right here, by the fireplace, when you smell it, that's the first thing you're gonna think. Or one of the top five things you're gonna think. I've only tried it a few times and I like it. We'll give it a few more tries. Maison Margella replica by the fireplace. To start off with, number five, I got Ultra Mom by Jean Paul Gaultier. This bad boy right here, you better check your manhood at the door because it is a sweet fragrance. It is somewhat unisex. I wouldn't say that it's unisex, but the reason why I say that is because Women, when they smell it, sometimes would say that they rather wear it themselves or they can wear it themselves. It's a sweet fragrance, good for the nighttime. I wouldn't wear it during the daytime unless you maybe one spray. But at nighttime, this bad boy is a beast. This is a beast mode fragrance that literally would last you all day, all night. Um, you'll get a good sillage, good sillage. This thing it has a good scent trail. Um, it will fill up a room, so you can't go heavy on the spray with this one because you will blow the room out. So this one right here, good date night fragrance. I'd say I'd spray two to three sprays, three sprays max. If anything more than that, you're killing it. The sprayer on this bad boy is pretty good. I can't complain, um, but Jean Paul Gaultier, Ultra Mall, great for the night. Like I said, check your manhood at the door because this needs your undivided manhood. Don't question it. If you don't have confidence, you can't wear this. No confidence, no wear. Number four on my list, Parfums de Marley, Pegasus. This bad boy right here, almond, vanilla, sweet, warm, date night fragrance, nighttime, beast mode. When I say beast mode, this thing, if you spray it on your skin, it should last you a good eight to 10 hours on, on clothes. You'll smell it to the next week. It is also unisex but it leans more towards the masculine side. Another one, you gotta check your manhood at the door, but if your confidence is up, you bet you can rock this, no problem. No problem, trust me. This bad boy is so warm, the longevity on this thing. Whew. Oh my gosh, hold on, give me a minute. Boy, this thing right here is so good. Number four on the list, Parfums de Marley, Pegasus. Number three on my list, this one, Everybody knows the scent. It's the king, but not the king. It's a clone of the king. A lot of people will disagree with me, but I prefer this one over Creed Aventus any day, just because I have smelled the other one, the Creed Aventus, but this one is sweeter, and for some reason it's just, it just gets me. It gets me. But uh, it's by Parfums Vintage, Pineapple, Vintage Intense. I like Aventus, I like it a lot. It has great hype for a good reason, but for some reason, I like this one better. I think it's because it's sweeter. Um, this is very people pleasing. My lady likes it, my lady loves it. This hands down is manly scent. Has starts off with a good top note of pineapple. It's a very sweet. How can you make a sweet but manly? It does it, it works. Sweet but manly, but this thing right here, it, it's a great, you, you can't lose with this one. You really can't lose, this is, my gosh, you can't go wrong with this one. The spray on this bad boy is so good. <coughs> I shouldn't have done that. It smells good. Everybody's gonna like it. It's very people pleasing. You can't go wrong. Pineapple Vintage Intense. Link in the description for this one. Number three on the list. Pineapple Vintage Intense. Number two on my list. Dolce Gabbana, the one, EDP. Another great date fragrance. It smells so good. It has a great boozy quality to it. Has uh, top notes of amber and tobacco. Ends off very smooth. It doesn't last that long, but that's not what you're looking for when it comes to a date fragrance. You want something that'll 
kind of project at the beginning, but you want some something that'll sit close to the skin after the first hour and a half to two hours. But once it sits close to the skin, you're wanting to invite her in because you're on a date. You want to snuggle up with your boo thing. She smells this on you. It's 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 over. It's over. Number two on my list, Dolce Gabbana the one EDP. Number one on my list by Victor and Rolf, Spice Bomb. I know this Spice Bomb Extreme, which I have that as well. We'll get to that review. This bad boy right here, great date night fragrance. It's a uh, pretty much what it says. It's a spice bomb. It's longevity on this bad boy. Uh, I'd say easy, eight to 10 hours on my skin at least. Put it on, on fabric, put it on your clothes, lasts even longer. Warm, spicy, leather. My gosh, my gosh, boy. Nothing but good things to say again. There's Spice Bomb Extreme, there's Spice Bomb Fresh. There's other variations. This one for me works great. I love it. Another great date night fragrance. Number one on my list by Victor and Rolf, Spice Bomb. But there you go guys, that's my top five fragrances that I wear on my date nights with my lady. Let me know what your top five fragrances are for date nights. At the end of the day guys, it's only scented water.